But I just care about your health. Then why are you harming my mental health? Because you're fat. But you just said that you care about my health. So why are you harming my mental health? What do you mean? You just said that you care about health, yet you are harassing me because I do not fit your unrealistic idea of health. It's not exactly unrealistic to just be average sized in terms of body size. Like that's kind of normal. What you're doing right now is actually unrealistic. You do not realize how many calories you're eating to maintain the amount of body fat that you have on your frame right now. And you know what? A lot of times I feel like people don't even realize how many calories they're eating. If you ask anybody how many calories they think they're eating in a day, most people don't even know what calories are, let alone how many they're eating. So I wouldn't be surprised that Marissa probably hasn't really thought or looked too far into it, which, you know, is not really surprising to me given the fact that Marissa Matthews is like one of the most unhinged people I've seen on the internet in probably a very, very long time. She somehow always manages to even a compliment, taking a compliment to her is too far-fetched. Like she will literally, if you compliment this woman and you go, hey, Marissa, I really think that you're an amazing, beautiful, spectacular individual. She will somehow manage to take that to a uh, so I didn't need you to say that. Uh, why the fuck would you ever say that? I know I'm beautiful. I know I'm good looking. Are you trying to put me down by saying like, are you, do you think you have power over me by telling me that I'm beautiful? Like you do realize I know I'm beautiful. That's like verbatim exactly what she would say. I'm pretty sure I've saw like four or five different videos of people saying that they think they're, that she's pretty and she will somehow manage to take that the wrong way. But that's just how Marissa is. She's just a very, very unhinged individual. I don't know how. People even watch her, to be honest, with the exception of me, of course. I just watch her because she's incredibly cringe. And I think it's entertaining to watch somebody as unhinged as Marissa, consistently always victim-blaming herself, going through things like, I have undiagnosed BPD. Therefore, everything I say should always be taken with a grain of salt. By the way, let me just go ahead and say the most crazy shit that anyone's ever said on the internet and have to excuse myself because I have BPD, by the way, undiagnosed. And also... To top it off, I had sex with over 1,000 men. Yes, that's exactly what she said. I'm not joking either. Like, she openly brags about having sex with over 1,000 men, which is weird. But, you know, hey, bro, if that's your flex, I would – I made it to round – let me think. Probably uh, 105 on Ascension on Black Ops 1 Zombies. That's right. I did do that. But that was way back in the day when I was like 14 or something years old when I had unlimited time. I couldn't do that nowadays because I have to do other stuff, and it's really sad. I would love to do another round 100, but I can't because I don't have time for that, and that would take like two days. So anyway. So why are you harming my mental health for your ideals? Yeah, again, also this like this idea that people are just randomly walking up to you and like tapping you on the shoulder like, um, excuse me, you're really fat. That's disgusting. Nobody's doing that. Nobody's walking up to Marissa, I guarantee it, and saying like, hey, Marissa, you're really fat. That's really unhealthy. You should probably change. Nobody's doing that. Maybe her family members are doing that. Maybe her friends are doing that. But I struggled to see if any of those people are actually really in her life. I don't think anybody would actually want to be around Marissa, given the fact that she's very, very weird to just just seeing on the internet. She has videos of her literally just straight up on the toilet talking shit, and she calls it shit Marissa says. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a pun or like a, you know, like weird thing because she's sitting on the toilet while she's doing it. And I actually think she is on the toilet right now making this video because I'm pretty sure I saw that exact cabinet before when she was taking a shit before. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Like I said, Marissa Matthews... <laughs> This is not an actual scenario. You're just coming up with a weird idea in your head or like a weird like hypothetical scenario in your head so that way you can justify your existence while being fat because you know that nobody in real life is actually making these claims. Because you're fat and you're unhealthy. True. I know that though. Are you my doctor? Nope, you don't have to be a doctor to know that somebody is unhealthy. Like if I walked down the street and saw a guy with his arm hanging off, do I have to be a doctor to diagnose the fact that that is not good? Do I need to be a doctor for that? Nope, I do not because I can have eyes. I don't need to be uh, I don't need to be a veterinarian to look at a cat and go, "That's a cat." You know what I'm saying? Like it's very obvious. But this is always where they go. They always go, "You're" and they don't even believe doctors for the most part. Like these people will literally sit there and say, doctors are fat phobic because when i walked in there my doctor told me my blood pressure was literally 300 default and my blood is moving through my veins at like literal snail pace like molasses and you know my doctor's really fat phobic i mean can we just take a moment to really acknowledge how fat phobic doctors are i mean my who was that one person that we watched it was like that guy or i don't know what it was but they said my doctor literally told me at any moment I could have a stroke. And I was like, come on, stop it. Really? Stop being fat phobic. A stroke? Come on, dude. No. These people are, like, being serious. Like, these people genuinely think that doctors are fat phobic. So even when they bring up doctors, 
that's also not even like an, a valid argument for them. They don't even believe in doctors. They literally say it's fat phobic for these doctors to say that being fat is negative. So even when they say, are you my doctor? That doesn't even have relevance. Why is that even something you bring up? That shit, you don't even believe that. Ideals, because you're fat and you're unhealthy. How do you know that though? Are you my doctor? Do you have some magical x-ray vision that you can tell everyone's health by just looking at them? Dude, look how unhinged Marissa looks, bro. It's just so crazy, man. Every time I see Marissa, she always looks like she's on the brink of, like, mental collapse, bro. Like, she looks like somebody that could have been in an insane asylum 20, 30 years ago, bro. It's craziness. But, you, like I said, you don't have to have encyclopedic knowledge to know that somebody that, that's obese is unhealthy. It's obvious. No, but I know that you're unhealthy because you're fat. True, dude. How the fuck are you losing your own argument against yourself? That's crazy. Mm, too bad that science doesn't actually prove that and back that up. How does it not? Wouldn't science determine that, like, that'd be like looking at a car that has this wheel hanging off and going like, yeah, this car is perfectly drivable. And you go, perfectly drivable? This car can't even turn on. What do you mean perfectly drivable? And then Marissa would go, it can drive kind of, so therefore it's perfectly drivable. That science doesn't back that up, so therefore you don't know what you're talking about. You can't be, you're not right about that at all. No, I'm pretty sure. I actually do think that she's on the toilet here. Yeah. Yeah, I actually do think she's on the toilet here. I'm pretty sure this is the shower curtains. Don't know what this is, but uh, pretty sure she's on the toilet right now. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Science actually proves that you can be healthy and fat at the same time. You can't just say science says and then be like, yeah, I'm right. Can you back that up in any way, dude? It, what scientists out here saying that you could be fat and healthy? I'm sure you could be fat and healthy simultaneously if you're like 20 or 30 pounds over, but not like 200 pounds over. 200 pounds over is pretty, that's, uh, no. I, I'm gonna have to say a flat no to that one. But you're too uneducated and you Okay, uh, you know what? You're projecting so much right now on this metaphorical person that's not real, by the way. It's just you. And you're losing your own argument. Uh, too uneducated is crazy, given the fact that your only case here is science says this. Okay, well, where? What, what do you mean by science says this? What is that? What does that even mean? What the fuck is that? That'd be like me going like Dee Dee from Dexter's Laboratory said that I'm right, therefore I'm right. That's the same shit. You're just referencing some random phantom study or some random phantom individual and going, this person said that, so therefore I'm right. That you can be healthy and fat at the same time. Prove it! Walk up the stairs with me. Walk up the stairs with me, dude. Please, let's see how many stairs we can get up to before you go... <gasps> You're too uneducated and you're too blind to your own fat phobia to realize that sure. and open your mind to the updated. Yeah, open my mind the same way that you open your mouth. Evidence-based research. But I just care about your health, so this way. True. Damn, dude. You let that person get the last word is crazy, bro. Hi there. How are you doing today? But yelling in the mall, recording yourself is demure. So, um, if you want to come and accuse me of something, please be accurate. One, I was not in a mall. And two, that was not yelling. This is fucking yelling! Okay. Thank you, Marissa. Truly a beautiful individual, dude. I love you so much. You're so personable. You have such pers good personality traits. This was definitely a good way to relay a random person commenting like, hey, um, were you yelling in the mall? And then you you yell to prove a point. Yeah, yeah I love that, actually. I love the way you did that. That was actually excellent. That was not yelling. This is fucking yelling! That's not what I was doing in the mall. So please don't accuse me of shit that I'm not fucking doing. A totally great response. I mean, that was appropriate in every way. I mean, you had to prove the point. You had to. Otherwise, how was that person supposed to know whether or not you were or were not yelling? So she was obviously doing the justifiable thing and proving that she was in fact not yelling. Totally, totally responsible, totally non-justified through and through 100%. Thank you so much and have a fabulous fucking day. Thank you. Hi there. I don't know how many times I have to think about obesity and chronic m chronic medical problems and shortened lifespan may be affecting you when may may not be affecting you affected when you're young, but it's coming. True. I mean, that's a factual statement, dude. It is most definitely coming. 
say this on the internet. I could have said something there, but I was like, nah, let me stop. But just because a fat person exists does not mean that we want your unwanted and unsolicited health advice. Then get off the internet. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like if you're on the internet and you're saying a whole bunch of hogwash stuff and you're upset that somebody's saying something about you, well, I can't tell you anything other than the fact that you're literally doing the exact thing that this person is doing. You're literally making videos, screaming at the camera, telling people that unwanted medical advice is fat phobia, telling people that doctors are fat phobic, telling people that they don't, they shouldn't have an opinion on anything. So why can you do it? Why can you make videos on stuff like this? But when somebody else makes a comment on the video that you made and you put it out publicly, why are you upset? I don't understand that. Or do they not have a valid criticism? Instead of just dismissing them outright and not actually attacking the point, which is, hey, you may not be suffering problems with obesity right now, but probably will later on. And odds are she's probably suffering from a lot of problems with obesity right now. She's just probably not talking about those things because she knows if she does, then people are going to tell her, I told you so. And these people will do anything to never get the I told you so. So they'll literally just suffer in silence or... Actually, sometimes they will actually talk about it, but they'll make it seem like it's a normal human being thing. Like, oh, wow, I'm just like getting older, I guess. I can't tie my own shoe anymore. Like every time I reach over, there's like this chronic big giant gut in front of me. And when I go to tie, it just sucks getting older, right? It just sucks. I'm 25. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to happen this early, but I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm just getting older, I guess. Um, I'm having more and more problems with my... My, you know, my, my elderliness, my, I'm basically a grandmother at this point because I'm so elderly and you're dealing with that too, right? How old are you? 35, huh? So you know exactly what I'm talking about. You probably can't even walk. Oh, you can? Oh, you know, grandmothers that can walk upstairs without losing their breaths, huh? Yeah, no, I, I, they're just privileged. They're just privileged. What are you trying to say right now? You're trying to say that I'm wrong for this, dude? Get off my, get off me, bro. Get off my, get off my dick. I never asked for it. I don't. You didn't have to ask for it. And I feel like these people. You didn't have to ask for it. You put yourself out in a public format. And when you put yourself out in a public format and you say whatever you say, there's going to be people that are going to watch that stuff and go, I don't like that. I do not like that at all. And they're going to probably disagree with you, especially given the fact that you're literally saying terrible, diabolical, just terrible stuff, right? And the difference actually is when you make your videos, nothing is actually founded in science, even though you say contradictory stuff. Like you'll say that it's founded in science, but it's not, obviously. You'll say literal craziness. And then somebody comes at you with, well, maybe, have you ever thought about like, maybe these things are not affecting you now, but they're going to affect you later. It's funny. This person is literally coming at you with a good question, a pretty good question and telling you straight out like, hey, you're probably going to have to deal with these problems. And you, instead of attacking that, you just kind of go, no, you're fat phobic. How dare you tell, how dare you tell me things I don't want to hear, which isn't that what the world is in general? And how come you can do it, but this person can't? And that we want your unwanted and unsolicited health advice. I never asked for it. I don't want it. But you left your comments on, right? So like you're inadvertently asking for it. If you didn't want people to comment on this stuff, then one, don't make the videos. And then two, don't leave your comments on, I guess. I, I I don't know what to tell you other than that. Like, you do realize you put yourself out on the internet and say things like this. You're going to have people that are going to respond. I'm existing on the internet. You're not just... A, I hate when people say this shit. I really despise when people say this shit. You're not just simply existing on the internet. Existing on the internet would be like somebody's mom watching TikToks or watching uh, YouTube or Netflix. That's somebody existing. They're not, they're not doing anything, right? They're just consuming the information. What you're doing is you're creating things, okay? You're creating an environment, you're saying things on the internet, and you're doing things that are going to probably, probably gonna make other people make videos or, or comments like these in response to those things. So you're not simply existing. Existing would imply that you're not doing anything to inhibit a response. You are doing everything besides that. You're making videos to get responses, and you're sitting here going, I'm just on the internet, dude. Like, what? I'm not doing anything wrong. It's just, I'm just existing, bro. That's like literally going on the street and just fucking stabbing somebody. And then going, and then the cop shows up like, well, uh, we're going to have to arrest you. And you go, why? I'm just existing, dude. What, bro? Hashtag, get away from me, dude. Police brutality. That's what you're doing right now. It's dumb. Stop, stop, stop faming ignorance, bro. Your words have value, okay? Just, just let that sink in. Your words have value. And when you say your words in a particular way, people are probably not going to like that. Bro, you're not my doctor. You don't. Why is it always you're not my doctor? It's always you're not my doctor, dude. She's been saying this for like two years now or three years now. You don't have to be a doctor to know that you're literally obese and being obese is not good. Like when you stack, okay, when you have a car and you stack cinder blocks on the car and it like weighs down the car, do you think that car is going to be working efficiently? 
It's the same thing with your body. Your body, picture your body as the car. Your body is the vehicle and you're stacking weight upon the vehicle for no other reason than just to have the weight on your vehicle. And then you move and then you do things. And eventually, what do you think is going to happen to the car? I'm sure it will work for a given point of time. But after a little bit, I'm sure the car is going to fucking blow up or it's going to like, it's going to have catastrophic failure. The brakes are going to go out. Maybe the catalyst converter gets fucking torn out from the back because a Puerto Rican dude stole it. There's going to be a whole bunch of problems with the vehicle after a certain point. I don't want it. I'm existing on the internet, bro. You're not my doctor. You don't know anything about me. You don't have to know everything about you, bro. I don't have to know everything about you, but I do know that you're obese. Therefore, that's not healthy. Your comment makes it seem like you believe that every single fat person dies because they're fat. No, that's not what they're saying at all. And by the way, they're literally just talking about you. So, I mean, maybe a little bit in the sense of like, if you're obese, that's going to be a problem, which is true. It's not that you guys are all going to die from the effects of obesity. I'm sure that there are plenty of times where somebody is obese. They die of other things like car crashes are pretty common, right? I know that deers run out in front of cars and people hit them and they fly out the windshield because they forgot to buckle up their seatbelt and you could be fat while that transpires. But for the most part, yes, uh, when you're fat, that's going to severely negatively affect your quality of life and probably the length to which you live that life. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Uh, but this person isn't saying that everybody that's obese is just going to die because of their fatness. No, but it's probably a pretty good assumption. Yeah. Makes it seem like you believe that every single fat person dies because they're fat. And do you believe the other thing? Like, do you believe that being fat is not actually a key determining factor to somebody's longevity or anything like that? Like, that's just not even a thing that we talk about here or. And that every single fat person has health issues because they are fat. Yes, uh, but it depends on how fat they are. If you're like 10, 15, 20, 30 pounds over, you're probably fine. But once you start getting in the 50, 60s, 100, 200 caliber. Yeah, bro, 100 percent. You're going to be what else? Yes, of course, bro. Of course, you're going to be suffering a lot of health complications. Guess what, buddy? That's not accurate. Well, why not, though? Can you go over Can you go over why and maybe come up with an example of to tell us how that is not possible? I would love to know that. Or are you just going to say that's not how it is and then just end it there? That's not the truth. Why? You are uneducated. Okay, but why, though? You can't just say I'm uneducated. You can't just say you're wrong and just leave it there and then just proceed to insult me. That's not how that works. Can you go over why I'm wrong at least, bro? You, that, that's that's ridiculous. Can you imagine a can you imagine a teacher going, does everybody know what two plus two is? And a kid raises his hand, uh, I think that two plus two equals five. And then you go, huh, no, you're uneducated. You're dumb. You're a stupid child. Anyway, Let's move on to the next point. That's what you're doing right now. Why did you do that? Do you have anything else to say? Like, there's no examples. There's no, oh, let me tell you how you're wrong. Let me explain to you why you're wrong. No, it's just, I'm dumb. I'm just stupid, I guess. I'm just uneducated. I just don't know anything. Because you apparently know everything, but you're not going to tell us how or why. You're just going to go off and be like, nah, bro, you're just dumb. All right. Buddy, that's not accurate. Works. Hashtag works. Accurate. That's not the truth. You are uneducated and you are harassing fat people online. It's not okay if I if that person is harassing fat people and you replying to their comment that they're replying to you that they did they're replying to you on a video that you put out wouldn't that also mean that you are harassing them because you're doing the same thing in the same format okay whatever it just shouldn't be this easy for this person it should not be this easy for me to like dismantle that with unwanted health advice did you know that I know that I'm fat I'm aware of it I have a doctor I don't think a, you don't think you need a doctor to tell you that you're fat that's like you, you do know you can just look in the mirror and be like, damn, I'm fat. Like you don't need to go to the doctor as like a 300 pound person or 400 pound person and be like, hey, am I fat? That's not exactly something. Like, you, what do you think the doctor's gonna look at you like? Uh, I don't know actually. I, I gotta run some tests. I, I don't really, I don't really. Know. I mean, you are breaking the chair. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised you were able to fit into the doorway. Um, but I'm not really too sure actually. Being the person, obviously the, uh, the understander of all things overweight and obesity. Um, I think I'm probably gonna have to run some tests. I am obviously the be all end all when it comes to diagnosing obesity. Obviously, you don't have to like look in the mirror or anything like that. Why do you need a doctor to diagnose your di ob obesity, dude? That's obvious. Health advice. Did you know that I know that I'm fat? I'm aware of it. I have a doctor. I go to my doctor. We talk about it. 
You don't need to do that's like me saying like, oh yeah, guess what? Uh, I know I'm poor because I went to the bank and I asked them if I'm poor. And then they looked at my bank account and it said negative five hundred dollars and they said, Yes, you're poor. I didn't need to go to the bank for that. I could have just looked at my banking app and saw that I was negative five hundred <gasps> and then realized that I was broke. Okay. I didn't need to know. Like I didn't need to go to somebody to authenticate that. In the same way that you didn't need to go to your doctor to find out that you were fat. Like you could have just looked in the mirror and be like, Yeah, that's uh what is that? Is that an elbow on the back of my neck? What is that? I have no idea what that is. is some, I got spaghettios on my leg right now. Where did, where did this even come from? Do that because you're a stranger on the internet who is not qualified and who doesn't know me. How do you know he's not qualified though? You're projecting OD here. That shit makes no sense either. You're a stranger on the internet. I'm a stranger on the internet. We're all strangers on the internet, dude. Yes, what is your point? So you as a stranger on the internet can make videos about the things you want to make videos on, but when somebody makes a comment replying to the things that you wanted to make a video on in the way that they wanted to make a comment on, you don't like that. Make it make and sense. And the fact that you think I'm stupid enough that I don't think about my health, bro. I sh I'm sure that Marissa thinks about her health, but I'm sure that the way she thinks about her health is actually counterproductive because she's not looking at the overall idea of it and probably thinking about the smaller things. You know me. And the fact that you think I'm stupid enough that I don't think about my health, bro, give me more credit than that. No. Oh, honey, self-love doesn't have a fucking look. When somebody says self-love, I always think like somebody's just beating off. Like it's just a dude in his bedroom just fucking stroking his shit. Or uh, a woman doing one of these or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you call that. Stroking the bean, I guess. I don't fucking know, dude. Um, I know that's not what she means, but we'll go into what she says. Oh, honey, self-love doesn't have a fucking look. Self-love can look like a bunch of different things. And the fact that you think that I can't love myself while I look like I am, <clears throat> that means that you have a fundamental misunderstanding about what self-love actually is. I feel like these people have a fundamental misunderstanding of what self-love is, dude. Or like just what words in general are. I don't understand why we have to redefine every single word and to make it suit whatever we're doing at that given point in time. And context does matter, of course, but this would be the equivalent of like seeing a crackhead on the street, missing teeth, dusting all of his money on crack and probably nothing else. And then he's going, I'm practicing self-love because I'm massaging my back right now. Like, I'm just massaging my back. Anyway, hey, bro, do you got like a quick $50 for this crack that I can get right now? Like, I understand what Marissa is saying. She's saying that just because she's fat doesn't mean she can't do things outside of the realm of being fat that would also be classified as self-love. That's true. But it's, all the, it's also in the same vein as like when people of this size say, I am healthy as an obese person. And they're talking about something like, I got clean like I, I i stopped smoking cigarettes which is like yes 100 or like when people go i got rid of my athlete's foot like yes i'm happy that you got rid of your athlete's foot i'm happy that you got your fungus condition down pack but you do realize that you weighing the size that you are is a big issue right like that's one of the biggest issues you have and it's great that you can focus on the smaller issues to make those go away but what about the biggest issue you have, which is the bligness, the ginormity, the fat, the fatness, the, the voluptuousness of your frame? What about that? Is that not something we're ever going to talk about? It seems really disingenuous that we have to keep redefining terms to make it suit whatever we're talking about so we can win arguments, bro. Nobody looks at it like that. Literally nobody. Like if somebody said women wear makeup and then somebody said, well, women, men wear makeup. When you don't bet, right? Men, men wear makeup. Men do wear makeup. You know that, right? So you're just wrong. And then I would go, well, yes. Uh, well, men do wear makeup. But when I say women wear makeup, obviously we know that the majority of people that wear makeup are women, right? It's just weird when people have to focus or try to poke something out out of nowhere that's not relevant. And you, you know what I'm talking about, and I know what I'm talking about. It's just bullshit because you know, like you knew, but you chose to play semantical games to try to win an argument. It's bullshit. Like, stop trying to do that shit. It's, it's, it's not a way to win the argument. It's actually really, really terrible, too. Like, I don't want to have a conversation with somebody like this. <clears throat> that means that you have a fundamental misunderstanding about what self-love actually is. If you is knew it? what self-love actually Can you tell us what it is instead of just going off on a rant about how we don't know what things are? Why does she do this, dude? It's so, it's so easy for her to be like, oh, you think this? Well, you're wrong. Anyway, you're dumb, you're stupid, and guess what else? You're stupid. Self-love actually is. You would know that I shouldn't shame myself or be rude to myself because of my appearance. Just depends. Like, if you've got a character trait that you obviously know is not helping you or is negative, and 
you know that you could be more beneficial if you got rid of that trait. And the way you get rid of that trait is at least acknowledging it. And when you acknowledge something, it might not be very favorable for you. Like you could look at that thing and go, this is gross. Like, why do I have this extra stomach flap? Why is my stomach literally on my kneecaps? Why do I smell like hogwash right now? I smell like literal butt butter. What? I, I, I got to do something about that. You're going to feel bad, obviously, because you're acknowledging something about yourself that you don't like, right? Naturally, most people are going to look at stuff and be like, I feel shame because I have this particular thing, which is fine, by the way. It's okay to feel shame about a particular body part or things such and so forth, right? Um, but the way Marissa is looking at it is like any form of negative emotion towards yourself is just bad, I suppose, which is really counterproductive, bro. If you knew what self-love is, then you would have an understanding of what self-compassion is. Can you tell us, though? Can you just say what it is instead of just going off and telling us how terrible we are? And you clearly do not. Tell us why. There is no one look for what self-love looks why? like. But it doesn't look like what you're saying okay, it does. Okay, what is it then? What you're saying is that in order to love yourself, you have to be a certain body size. That's not how self-love works, Tell us bro. Why. I don't have to be a certain size in order to like myself or love myself. I'm allowed to do it at my body size. But I do understand that you are the one who is projecting on me because you are the one who doesn't actually love themselves. Dude, I, what is even the purpose of this, dude? You're just going around in circles and just telling us how terrible we are and how much, how enlightened you are that you found a way to love yourself while being massively overweight or obese. And somehow this person is just completely fucking wrong, even though you're not going to explain why this person is wrong in any, any way at all. Okay, Marissa, you somehow managed to crack the code. You will literally never lose an argument because you actually can't. Like, it's impossible. You're just going to go around circles and just, I don't know, like, there's, there's just, like, nothing we can say to you at this point. And seeing me love myself at my body size. You can love yourself at the size that you are, but you're literally choosing to ignore a giant facet of what makes you the person that you are, which is literally your health, your body size, okay? Now, I understand that you can, you can refer to things as health, as in, like, I like cut my nails or I washed my hair and I did face care. I did makeup and things such and so forth. A lot of people will sit there and say, that's self care. That's self love. That's, you know, me taking care of myself. Sure. These things can all be considered to be self love. I agree. But the difference is when somebody says you're fat and that's like really negative in your health, what it, what it basically is, is like, you're literally negative 10 because you're like your, your, your health, right? You're negative 10, but you're doing something to increase your health by like 0 0.2. You understand like it's good. It's progress. You're getting back to positive, but you're still in the negative by a lot. And you're choosing to ignore that purposefully. And you're using these weird semantical words, these arbitrary lines to where you, you determine that these are what really matters. And nobody else looks at it like that just to win an argument. And it's stupid because the real... She could never win an argument like this with anybody in real life. Like, if somebody actually was to argue with her about this shit, she would instantly lose because this conversation pattern doesn't make any sense. It doesn't follow along with, like, how anybody has conversations at all. So she would just lose off the basic idea of how her sentences are constructed. This offends you because you don't love yourself. True. So I understand that, but you don't. Can you tell us why, though? Why is it so easy for this person to just shit on us and not tell us why? So instead of projecting your fat phobia onto fat people, you might want to go to therapy and unlearn your self-hatred and then stop projecting your fat phobia onto everyone else. Because you are incorrect here. There is no delusion, and the only thing that is delusion... Your cheeks are literally mashing into your glasses right now. Okay. Is how much I love myself. True. And <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Can I go back real quick? Delusion. And the only thing that is delusion is how much I love myself. True. The only thing that's delusional is how much Marissa loves herself. Thank you, Marissa. That is actually amazing. Wow. Thank you for admitting that. That is delusional that you love yourself. That is actually amazing. That's, you know what, dude? You really blew my mind with that one. I wasn't expecting it to go there. This whole conversation was telling us how much you care and love yourself. And then you end it with you don't love yourself. It's, oh, thank you, Marissa. Honestly, thank you. And because you have no concept of loving yourself, it looks like delusion. Because you have a fundamental misunderstanding of what self-love is. So not loving yourself is delusional, but it's only delusional because I think that it's delusional, but you don't think it's delusional because you have the real understanding of delusional, but I don't have the real understanding of delusional. Delusional. And you're not going to tell us what that definition of delusional is because you, for what, like what, 
What the fuck? What kind of mental gymnastics, dude? How'd you even get there? So thank you so much for coming to my TED Talk. And thank you everyone for watching this episode of Shit Marissa Says. Have a great night and please do not come again. To the commenter, everyone else can stay. Thank you. Your body is important, but if you are at a body weight that is causing you health risks, you cannot let that be. It's a big True, dude. And being fat is going to cause complications. But a lot of these people don't see the complications because it's passive complications. Like the things that are accruing over time. They're not things that are negatively affecting. Like, for instance, if you got hit by a car and you're going to immediately have those problems, right? But if you slowly but surely start accruing fat upon your body over time, you're not going to really see those damages uh, until they become big damages, right? So maybe it's simple things like not being able to walk as far there, as far as you used to. Maybe you have a harder time getting out of bed. Maybe your sleep schedule is really fucked up. Maybe you need a CPAP now. Maybe all of these things are transpiring, okay? And you're not determining them as actual issues because they're taking a long time to accrue over time, right? It's like, you know when you see somebody every single day, you don't notice the difference in that person because you're seeing them every single day. But if you don't see that person over six to a, a six months to a year, then you start seeing big differences in them because you haven't seen them in a long time. So you're noticing all the big differences that you weren't able to see because you were with that person for a prolonged period of time. Hold up for people, and I want to get into it. Body positivity has been co-opted by the notion that it is about loving the skin you're in. It is not the intention of the body positive movement. The body positive movement started as a social justice movement, advocating for the rights to quality health care regardless of the skin that you're in. It includes advocating for the most marginalized. People want to talk about health, but nobody wants to talk about the risks of EDs. Everyone claims to be an expert of understanding the harms of existing in a higher weight body. But the reality is, is that the bias that you hold around people in larger bodies actually prevents folks who look like me from getting quality health care. So what's the alternative? It's just like what I'm hearing from you basically is you shouldn't be talking about anything that has to do with my body because if you do that actually might be more harmful than the fact that i'm obese to begin with so is the outcome to this is just do nothing like don't say anything don't advocate for anything don't try to promote better values don't try to promote healthier activities like none of that stuff is actually going to benefit you because you're basically saying that if that stuff is implemented it's going to actually impact you negatively on the health spectrum so i guess do nothing then just that's really what this is you just just tell me you don't want anything to happen to you that's fine that's okay but don't sit here and try to act like that's not what you're trying to say okay and by the way it's actually really really terrible like if you know friends and family that are suffering from the effects of obesity i've i've, I've seen people before tell me straight out I've tried to help people, but there's nothing I could do. This person's stuck in their ways. At that point, it is what it is. You're just going to have to abandon that person. I know it sucks a lot of dick, but it is what it is. A lot of people don't want to change until they have to change themselves. And sometimes um, the process to which that, that requires them to make that change, like that big event, that one thing in their life that makes them go, I need to do something now, sometimes never comes. Sometimes people can literally have heart attacks. Sometimes people can have literal like cancer, and they still do nothing to change the situations. And... Uh, it is what it is, bro. Um, for those particular people, just abandon them. There's nothing you can do about it. There's literally nothing you can do about it. I would recommend cutting contact with those people because they're just going to continuously bring you down. And that's tragic, right? I remember literally hearing somebody say recently that they had a friend that was a heroin addict and they were happy when they died because they didn't have to keep dealing with all of their shit because they would consistently call them, ask them for money, you know, complain about their life being asked. Like it was like an agonizing thing for this person and they couldn't do anything about it because this person was not willing to change for themselves and they knew that they couldn't do anything to help them. And that's tragic. That's really tragic, bro. Um, but that's really what it comes down to ultimately. I think it's probably really beneficial to, if you have the ability to, Help the people out around you if you can, but if you can't, then there's nothing you can do about it. These people seem to be lost. It's just what it is. Um, these people are adamant on the fact that their bodies are not negatively affected, and if they are negatively affected, it's not to a great degree, and they, they consistently blame all their problems on everybody else. I just don't see it. All hope is lost. All, all ye who enter here. It's just it's just an endless piss, a pit of torment for these people. So yeah, I want my clients to love their body. It's not a requirement. I care more about my clients not developing EDs, demonstrating ED behavior. Okay, that's fine. I mean, if that's something that comes up very frequently, you should love your body. You should love that your body has all this amazing stuff to it, but you should also have the ability to look upon your body and if you see something negative about it and you have the ability to change it, then you should. And we're not willing to risk 
the development of an ED for weight loss. So you just don't do anything then because like you do realize that you're, you're also going to have that same chance on the opposite end, right? Do you expect that somebody that's eating 4,000 calories a day not to have an ED? Obviously, bro, that's craziness that you're talking about right now. So you're just basically saying, we're not gonna do this because if we do this, this might lead to this and we don't wanna have that and we don't even know if this is even really that bad to begin with. So we probably just wanna have this instead. So you're just trading one bad thing for another bad thing and that other bad thing may or may not happen and you're just not willing to risk it at all. I mean, I guess, fine. If you don't want to play, uh, it's not even playing the lottery ticket. At least you try, right? There's no shade to this person who made this comment. It's a comment that I get a lot from people. So don't even understand what Marissa is doing here, dude. Like, I, I guess she's crocheting, but like, what is the purpose of Marissa even being here? I don't even understand why people even do duets anymore. It's so cringy. Just post the original content. Just leave it there. But if we took the same amount of indignation towards the harms and risks of ED, how might that increase the health risk that most people claim to care about? If you care about my physical health, then you have to also care about my mental health. No, I don't. <laughs> what? No, the fuck I don't, dude. No, I don't. Because mental health is way harder to diagnose. It's way easier to see somebody's physical health compared to mental health. I don't know who you are. I don't know your life experiences. I'm not reading your Wikipedia page to understand your deep backstory. That's not how that works at all. If I see that you're overweight, I can automatically deduce that you're unhealthy, okay? If I'm looking upon you and you look like a normal person, I don't determine that you're going to like be a person that comes to my house and microwaves my hamster or keys my car. I don't know that about you. Sometimes you can. When you see somebody like Wendy Williams dies, then like, okay, maybe this person is a little bit weird, right? But even then, you don't know. But I know for a fact that you being an obese person is very, very unhealthy. So I don't – it's very – it's a disingenuous way of trying to like gaslight people into thinking that there are bad people because you're choosing to only focus on the easier option compared to the harder option when the harder option is literally insane to diagnose. Like how am I going to diagnose that you have mental issues? I'm not even qualified for that, right? Um, I don't know anything about you. I have no background information about you, but I do know that you're unhealthy based off of these things. And sure, your unhealthy physical behavior could be determined based off of your un unhealthy mental behavior, probably. But it's way harder for me to determine that than it would be to just look at you and go, you have an issue. You know what I'm talking about? And if I tell you that trying to lose weight safely is not a viable option for my mental health, then you have to believe me. I don't have to believe you, but all right. And if you don't, that is your own bias. It's not bias. Um, it, it, it's just, sure. You know what? No, it's my bias. Go ahead. I do not need to subscribe to that bias. I know and trust myself and my body. I hate when people say they know and trust their bodies. Like, what do you mean you trust your body, bro? You know how many people say they trust their body and they fall down, they can't get up again, and they're like, oh, I guess I don't really trust my body. I thought I could get up off the floor by myself, but I just can't. I just can't. You know, sometimes people will say, I trust my body. Why would you ever do that? Um, sometimes, like, you can, depending on the thing, but for most stuff, uh, most people have no idea if they have problems until they go to the doctor, get, a, get some blood work run, or find out they have an illness or some, they find something somewhere. Like, you don't know, bro. It's really important to run tests, get blood work, investigate. It's such a stupid thing to be like, oh, I trust my body. What are you talking about? And ultimately makes me a much healthier person, regardless of my body size. No, that's bullshit. You trust your body, therefore you're healthy because of that and not because you're unhealthy because of your weight. That's stupid. That's dumb. You just literally just forgave your own bad actions because you're basically saying, because I feel better in my brain knowing this. Because I'm not doing anything about it. Therefore, I feel better overall. All right, dude. Live your life. Live your life. Hey. Go ahead, man. I don't care, dude. These people are these people are literally lost at this point. All right, guys. That's the end of the video. So uh, let me know what you think down below about Marissa. She's a unique specimen of human being. Truly loved. Truly an amazing person. I think she is incredibly intuitive and... She has a great way of pronouncing words and formatting her sentences. They always seem to never make sense, but to her, I guess they always do. So, but regardless, um, you're an amazing person. Thank you for watching the video today. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do that and stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. It helps me grow in the algorithm. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in paint, P-A-I-N-T, or uh, if there's like a paint emoji or like one of those like weird painter thingies, you know what I'm talking about the wooden board that's kind of like shaped like a weird moon a little bit or like uh, the troll face from the side and then the painters with the weird suits do the thing and they go.
you know, like the Bob Ross stuff. If that's in the uh, emoji section, you can put that down there too. Or like, I guess maybe a color that you like. I don't know. Any of those things I'd appreciate. And I do appreciate them. I do appreciate you. I read all the comments. I think you guys are all amazing people. Thank you so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. You're amazing. You're beautiful. You're spectacular. I love every single one of you, including you right now watching this video. You delicate, beautiful, amazing specimen of human being. You smell, smell so good. Whew. Anyway. Uh, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.